Two days before the ship went down, I was haggling my next fat around. Soon 20 bucks would waste me for a week. I knew Chris Danielli uh, from recording the Cadaver albums. Yucky Studios is located in Springfield, and uh, he does everything from you know acoustic work to punk to metal, and uh, everything that comes out of there sounds great. So I thought it's a perfect spot to bring Funzo. You know, he just he's got a lot of, of good equipment, some good ideas, and he knows he knows how to make uh, a punk rock record sound polished and clean and, and still retain its life. It's a very cozy place to, to record and uh, everybody feels like family and we even got to bring in a bunch of our friends to do gang vocals and uh, guest vocals from Dan Sewell of the Caps, so it was really cool and a, a great experience. Chris has a really light feel that that really kind of kept it loose, and, and the, I think the songs definitely reflect that. It's 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 a good good ride. If you're filming, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks, he was playing like our song in the background, and I'm like, <laughs> but you don't hear it. You know? <laughs> 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 And that's how it ends. That's how it ends? <laughs> well, we actually came up with the title Hot Funzel, you know, as play on Hot Fuzz. It was kind of one of the names that we threw out there and never thought we'd actually do it. The lovely Kimberly Hatch uh, was, was nice enough to uh, volunteer some time to help us get these looking really, really uh, professional. It's just, it, it's outstanding. We're so proud of it. Um, trying to re recreate the, uh, the Hot Fuzz cover, the Simon Pegg, Nick Frost movie. Another trip, another sleep. We all got together one day and uh, you know stood in front of a white background or whatever and professional lighting and everything and we did our best Simon Pegg and Nick Frost poses and uh, Higgins got to eat a bunch of jelly donuts and Guy grew a nice mustache. Guy grew his beard out for like a month and a half and then shaved it off so he, he's got a real mustache and that's that's I know he's very very proud of that and wanted the world to know so. No. If you look on the back of the CD, there's a lot of hidden Easter eggs that are just, uh, you know, references to the movie. Like, there's the swear box from the movie, we're eating chocolate cake. Even uh, we threw in some personal things, like uh, Jeff uh, Guyett works at a bank, and uh, they made a poster of him, and it's actually on the wall on the back. So, there are a lot of different things that you can find inside it out, and uh, the CD's worth buying just for the artwork itself. So, eggs. Uh, That's good. How do you how do you think your photos came out today? Um, I'm Casey. Yeah, you ever hear of Fabio? <laughs> the guy that poses for all the book covers. Do it. Say it. Look out! Here it comes. Spicy McHiggins. Be on the cover of Fat Chick did novels. You your donut? That's yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah, there's another one. Okay. Why we gotta do more? That it's Andy's crotch. It's angelic. <laughs> Straight from the heavens. Ready to know. Yeah. It's such a turn on. You take a picture of the flex. Why all my videos do I have little funny things from Higgins in them? Oh, you're videoing? <laughs> 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 they saw me go from fat to skinny. <laughs>